The Underdwellers is weird. It's just really weird. The story is intriguing enough. We follow an underground community of kids serving a man called the Sewer King as he has them steal from above ground and even forces them to remain fully silent. When Batman investigates a series of robberies, he's led to the sewers and meets a mute boy named Frog. Seeing that the boy has clearly not been cared for, he takes him to the Batcave and makes Alfred look after him in Wayne Manor. Eventually, they return to the sewers where Batman discovers the community of kids and confronts the Sewer King. So the thing is, I can see this episode actually fitting in really well with this series. Weird is not a bad thing with Batman, but the execution and writing of this idea just didn't come together very well. Tom Ruger is given story credit for this one, and he's responsible for the story and or teleplay for a few of my absolute favorite episodes. Jules Dennis and Richard Mueller, who are credited with the teleplay for The Underdwellers, also have the cat and the claw to their name, and we'll get to that, but I don't think you can necessarily blame one person for this one. It seems like a potentially good idea that just never clicked. With that said, let's talk about some of the more bizarre parts of this episode. Like how Bruce seems to think he's seen a leprechaun? Seriously? You don't believe I saw a leprechaun? Or when he brings Frog back to Wayne Manor, which turns into a gun PSA. Children and guns do not mix. Ever. It wasn't loaded. But it could have been. Why does Batman have a room full of guns in his house anyway? I guess it can make sense to keep up appearances as Bruce Wayne, but still, odd choice. He's also just walking around the manor in costume, which again is not implausible, but such a strange thing to see in this capacity. Shall we talk about Batman's interactions with alligators in this episode? Later. Wow. He also suplexes and I'm pretty sure kills one with his bare hands. Kind of surprising they were able to just throw that one in there, even though they were given so much crap about a fleck of blood once in a while. Anyway, the Sewer King himself may have been a good idea in theory, but... Hurry, 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 hurry! We are the Underdwellers. We follow the Invisible Creed. But, 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 but! He's a wacky, neurotic... pirate? I'm not sure what they were going for with this characterization, but we do know he kind of enslaves kids and Batman is very mad at him for it. They play up the plight of these children very seriously and it would fit in perfectly with the tone of a few other episodes, but when you're showing these kids weeping right next to this guy, it's hard to carry over those emotions from minute to minute. The best part of this episode is when Alfred is watching Frog in Wayne Manor. Let me just say, I love Alfred. I'm a big fan of that character. Whenever we can get him involved in more of the story, I'm usually for it. His bits with this kid were actually pretty funny. In any case, if you want to see a truly peculiar episode of this show, The Underdwellers might be for you. The light. The light. <laughs> 